time with that. The second build is a technical build. First, I'm gonna be utilizing Universal Law. Now, the idea behind this build is that in the last build, I didn't even include Phantom Show, but Phantom Show was a really good skill. The fact that it has a really high chance at inflicting sleep to the enemies, it's such a high chance that you can rely on it as long as they don't block it. Since because of sleep, you can hit any skill at it and it's gonna be a technical. So let's try to use traits that help boost our technical damage. So Universal Law increases our technical damage by 50%, and that's a lot. So the build consists of Raul with Psycho Blast. Now you can have any severe AoE attack. I show Psycho Blast because that is my favorite visual skill. Phantom Show, which is the special skill that comes with Raul. No Blast, Firm Stance, Spellmaster to reduce the amount of SP that we're going to be using with Psycho Blast. Phantom Snow costs little to no SP, so you don't have to worry about that. This is mainly for your attacking skill, since so it is going to be very expensive. Psy Boost, Psy Amp, again, is just boosting our attack, and that can be swapped for whatever skill they're going to be using. So if you're using Fire, then go for Fire Boost and Fire Amp. And then Magic Ability, because we are using magic attack so we want to boost our attack as much as possible so as always we'll be attacking our kodamas testing our damage and seeing the averages of how we get from universal law so pretty much all we have to do is just hit them with phantom cho they get hit by sleep and then we kill them with psycho blast and now fully buffed with the attack buff and concentration we hit these enemies for an average of 18,581 damage that blows Mighty Gaze out of the water. That is insane amount of damage. However, there is another trait that can be even stronger when it concerns this build, and that is Ailment Hunter. Now, Universal Law, I really like it because it is flat out technical damage, 50%. There is no catch other than it has to be technical damage to trigger it. Ailment Hunter, it increases your attack by 25% for every enemy that is inflicted with an ailment. If you're facing a group of enemies, Ailment Hunter is going to net you a lot of attack. Especially if you do 25% times 25% times 25% times 25% with 4 enemies. And we're going to hit much harder than Universal Law. So same build, but we try with Ailment Hunter and we hit an average of 42,626 damage from the Kodamas. And that is such a huge jump from Universal Law. So it really does depend on what you're trying to do. Now if you're facing a certain single target enemy, then you should stick to Universal Law as you will net more damage than Ailment Hunter because you're only gonna get 25% damage from one enemy. But if you're doing against mobs, then you should definitely stick to Ailment Hunter. It is incredibly strong in this case. So now I'm gonna show you the recipe of Universal Law Raul first. Now I got an Okuninushi at level 55 because at level 55 it learns Psy Boost. Fuse that with Harati to make a Rangda. And then you want to fuse Rangda with Barong to make a Shiva. And then just level up Shiva as high as you can go, which is level 88, because that is when it learns Psycho Blast. Now, this is only if you're following the Psy technical build. If you want to use another skill, then this recipe will change. And then fuse Shiva with Addis to make Haster. And then with Hastur, use it with Barret to make Magat Izanagi Picaro, and then fuse that with Arsene to make Lamia. And then fuse Lamia with Koryu, and there you go, you have Raul. Now, from Koryu, that's where we get Universal Law, as that is its innate trait. And as well, from Koryu, you can get Psy Amp and Spell Mastery if you level up Koryu. So now for the rest of our skills, no bless from Raphael, as I mentioned before, in Firm Stance. Since we're not getting it from a Persona, we can instead get it from a skill card. If you get the three DLC, you can itemize Messiah Picaro in a Fusion Alarm and you will get Firm Stance. Now, the last skill, Magic Ability, I've mentioned before that you have to get it through Network. The best thing I can tell you is save, check Network Fusion, throw a random Persona, and see if the Persona you fusion with has Magic Ability or all the other ones. There are very nice Personas that do include all the Network Fusion, so you can just pass them down. However, if you don't, just reload. Usually that's how you reset the Network Fusions. And just keep doing that until you get Magic Ability. Or you can just rely on Chance, just fuse, and hopefully you might get Magic Ability from that. 
So now the recipe for ailment hunter Raul. So it's pretty much gonna be the same thing all the way to Shiva, except once we make Shiva, instead we're gonna fuse it with Fafnir to make Odin, and then fuse Odin with Kikiruhime to make Kali, and then fuse Kali with Koryu to make Raul, and there we go. So the reason why we need to do this is because with Fafnir, that's where you get ailment hunter other than that it's pretty much the same thing because we get to koryu who gives us the skills that we need and that's how you make Beta. raul